I don't know if I've ever coached a place where the kids feel the pressure as much as they do here. And it is what it is. And I just try to take it off of them. So, <clears throat> they've just played their tails off. They've stayed in the present moment. I mean, you look back, I don't know, 24 hours ago, when he, if you try to look to try to get to where you are today, right now, it seems like it's across the country. And that's why we said it's a marathon, but you can't run a marathon by getting to the finish line in one step. You just got to take step by step. And that's what they've done. They've just taken it step by step. And, They've competed their tails off, and it ain't it hadn't always been perfect, but it's been fun to watch from the dugout and the third base coaching box. A bunch of guys that have come together, really close group. Where in the fall, I'll be honest with you, it's a bunch of individuals, and it was one of the most challenging teams for me to, to try to figure out. And they've gotten closer with one another. They love one another. And, they play for one another, and it's it's been neat to watch. Last night you said that you guys weren't guaranteed a second game. <laughs> you've, you've earned that second game now, so how good does it feel that, that the fight's still here and you guys are still chugging along? I mean, it feels good, but, you know, there's obviously a lot more left to do. So, and Campbell, it's not going to go away. They're very good. I've said it a lot. It's the best Campbell team that – I've ever seen, and when I say that, I mean the ones that I have played against, ones I have coached against, they're very talented, and we've got our work cut out for us in this next game. You talk about taking the pressure off them. What do you say to them before this last game, if anything? Well, I just haven't talked about anything except staying in the present moment. We talk about that a lot, but just win one pitch at a time and just lay it all on the line, compete, and see what happens. Coach, we used to talk about being where your feet are. It's the same thing as being in the press moment, same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Where are you feet today? My feet right now are in this media room. <laughs> That's where I am. So I'm trying to get back so I can get something to eat and uh, get some more caffeine in me. And play it tough and Packer is kind of embodying that right now. I mean, you can see he's missing and he's struggling, but he's playing, he's hitting and all over the place. I mean, that's kind of what you expect maybe from a guy like that that's so talented and driven. Well, I think uh, – you know, Pack probably yesterday was fighting it, especially in the NC State game, and I think getting him out of the game and just letting Zach Womack and Kevin Youngs work on him, I think that was tremendous. Look, he's not full strength, but like I told this morning, I said, hey, if you want to play today to start with, you have to go in the outfield because Burleson's going to DH. So, hey, he's like, coach, I'm going. So um, that's where we are. Really, to be honest with you, I didn't think he'd go in game two last night, and I had written out the lineup and put Franny in the leadoff spot and DH in him. And, he came in my locker room while I was changing. He says, Coach, I'm going. And I was like, are you sure? I can't watch you grimace on every swing. He goes, no, nah, I'm going. So, and glad he went. So, he two run jack. So it was nice. Coach, as a good hitter in your own right, can you explain what Washer's going through right now? I mean, he's seeing the ball pretty well. I hope he keeps seeing it for a, at least one more game. So he is, uh, I only had him. I think it was like six games in my career. I hit six home runs in six games, and I played baseball for a long time, and that's the only time I felt like that. But uh, to be doing it, and I was DHing a lot, doing it and catching every single, almost every single inning of every game is what is most impressive to me. Washer is a tough kid, and I talk to, to our team about Wash a lot, like a guy that you guys have heard the story. In our program for two years, didn't play at all, and everybody was wondering who's going to catch after Travis Watkins. I think uh, Jake Washer's going to catch after Travis Watkins. Mm -hmm. And no disrespect for Travis Watkins, but uh, Jake Washer's done an unbelievable job for two years in our program. Do you have your plan as far as pitching for this game? Uh, all hands on deck that can throw the ball forward without any pain. So uh, Gavin Williams is going to start. Um, Louisville won today, so this is your last home game. Regardless. I can give a uh, crap yeah, no, no, about who won sure. their, re their, their yeah. regional. But this is your last home game. You have all your social media here, all your newscasts that are going on right now. You have a chance to talk to all the fans out there about why they need to be here. Is it, are the fans going to see it before they can get here? Yeah, the ones that aren't here will have a chance to see it. Okay. Well, five, so I'll get them on right now. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I, if you don't do it for anybody else, do it for a group of guys who poured their heart and soul into ECU baseball for the last 40 hours. And they'd given everything, and they wouldn't be where they are right now if it hadn't been for the crowds the last couple games. But I hope it's the loudest this place has ever been. And uh, it's been loud. I hope it's the loudest place it's ever been. Thanks, Coach.